Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a guinea pig. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. On the left side, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. The shape of the muzzle should be similar to an arc on its side. Inside the head, draw a horizontal line as a construction guide to help you place the facial features later on. Inside the head, on the top right side, draw a curved line for the ear. This line should be similar to a backward letter C. On the right side, draw a circle as a guide for the front portion of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle too. First make a few small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Don't overlap the head circle as you draw this circle. Pay attention to the size of this circle in relation to the head circle. On the right side, draw a bigger circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle as well. Make this circle bigger than the circle for the front part of the body. Don't place the body circles far apart or the body will be too long. Under the front part of the body, draw an angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line to indicate the foot. To the left, draw a shorter angled line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the circle on the right, draw a longer angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Connect the body circles using horizontal lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the lines slightly. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye above the construction guide and near the top left edge of the head circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Draw a couple of small angled lines on the sides of the shape for the corners of the eye. The inner corner of the eye should point toward the muzzle. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for bare skin. Curve the lines along the shape of the eye. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Shade the rest of the eye. Use a value that's lighter than the pupil to shade the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade. Near the tip of the muzzle, draw a small oval and shade it in for the nostril. Place the nostril on top of the construction guide. Draw a couple of curved lines around the shape for the outer section of the nostril. Add a few short strokes around the nostril for a furry texture. Use the initial arc as a guide to draw the rest of the muzzle. Darken the arc to create the front part of the muzzle. At the bottom, curve the line to the right to create the mouth. Draw the mouth slightly higher than the initial arc. 
use a series of short strokes as you draw the mouth for a furry texture. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the bottom lip. Darken the top part of the arc for the top part of the muzzle. Use the curved line inside the head as a guide to draw the ear. Draw a series of short strokes at the top for the furry base of the ear. Darken the initial guideline but make the shape wavier. Draw a few curved lines to give the ear structure. Add a few more short strokes on the left side for more fur. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Make the top of the head slightly taller than the initial circle. Darken the bottom part of the circle to create the rest of the head. Use a series of short strokes along the bottom for a furry texture. Use the second line from the left that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the bottom for the foot. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. On the tip of the foot, draw a series of short curved lines to separate the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Draw the toes on the tip of the foot as short curved lines. Use the angled line on the far right side as a guide to draw the hind leg. Draw a series of short strokes along the lower edge of the big circle for the top part of the leg. Draw the shape of the foot around the guideline. On the tip of the foot, draw curved lines to separate the toes. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a few short strokes to create a furry texture. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you draw the underside. Make the section of the body that's under the head a little bit wider than the initial guidelines. Now we raise the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Guinea pigs can have different patterns on their fur, so you can shade your drawing however you'd like. If you have a pet guinea pig, try to duplicate its coat pattern on your drawing. For this coat pattern, draw two wide bands across the head and the back portion of the body. Leave the front part of the muzzle and the middle section of the body blank for the white fur. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Shade the white sections of the fur using a very light value. Shade using horizontal strokes. Separate the strokes as you shade so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a furrier texture. Use a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. 
Draw a cast shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the guinea pig. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.